pay, for, pay to have the privilege to go to the market. So they're all playing at paying to get the paying display. I park out of town and walk in. There seems to be some sort of problem with the paying display. I don't know what it is. But uh, council make a fortune out of it. Oh, they're all going to have a try now. See if they hit the jackpot. He's always my first port of call. My favourite stall. Dave's second hand tool stall. He always has lots of hoes and things that I like, you know, like hoes for hoeing the ground. And I've bought a lot of wolf terex auto spades and things like that there. highly recommend it. Tomato sauce sandwiches everything. This is an old cow market and these um, stalls out here um, they're quite full, full all the way along. Way, along. On a Sunday morning, this is Wednesday at the moment, but on a Sunday morning they have car boots and all here and uh, quite often they put you under here to do your car boot. But all, if you do come don't go under here if you can possibly help it because is terrible because people pee in it at night and also you can hit the, the gutter's too low you hit your head that's the old auctioneer's ring in there and because uh, this was a proper cow market now they have that as the farmer's market up there you can get all your uh, nice veg nice uh, meats you know, that haven't been industrially farmed cheese and that sort of thing yeah Nice big package gummy steaks for you, you can have them as well. Alright, put that in your bag. There you go. That'll be good to hang it up. Come and see the nice big joints and that. Start with That's the butcher. That's the one I don't go to. Well, I do go to him. Yeah, but he always sells a huge amount of food. Here's the other butcher. We got it all here. We've got plants. We've got veg fruit and vegetables. Clothing. Butchers. Everything. <laughs> Another one of my favourite stalls, Charlton Orchards. Always uh, just have the one chap on here. They grow their own apples over at Somerset. Look at the queue he's got. Yeah, another person on there like me, helping. Yeah, sell twice amount of stuff. All we need is to let their lovely gourds stay out of Grow all those on Charlton Orchards as well. Gourds. Little squashies there. And here's their, um, their own apple juice. They only make apple juice, they don't make cider. And the beans. And grown plums. This is the main shopping street, South Street. It did have all worse, and then it went to Wellworthy, and now it's gone to the pound shop, apparently. I haven't been into town for ages, so uh, I, uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I'll see it later. This is one of my favourite shops here. It's um, face value. And that's where I get all my winemaking stuff and all that. That's a really good shop that is. Here's another good shop, Dodgson's. Dodgson's of Dorchester. An old fashioned iron mongers. Hardware shop. Got everything. A lot of galvanised goods. I mean, where else could you get a dog bath? 
36 inches, 72 pound 99, 48 inches, 76 pound 99. Includes local free delivery. Hmm, look at it, galvanized. Old fashioned way with seams and everything. This is another place I always have to come to. I think it's called Hardy's Arcade. And uh, this shop is called the Potting Shed. And I always come to the Potting Shed. And uh, we have plants here, bare root stock. Uh, look what this morning they've got um, uh, wallflowers, uh, autumn cauliflower. Be a bit optimistic for going inside an autumn cauliflower this time of year. And uh, spring cabbage. Yeah, it's a great shop though. It's got all the things, get potatoes and um, seeds, all your seeds, any fertilizers, that sort of thing. Fertilizers hold loose. The point shed. 